Hey everyone, Mike here from drivingtips.com and in this quick video I'll be showing those of you in Maine how to get your driving record. So if you're watching this, chances are you want to get your record online. I'll cover that first. And there's two different ways that you can get your record online. First, you can go through a third-party background check service like this one. This is Intelligator. And the advantage of this one is it's cheaper. You get your record back instantly. And you also get access to a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but in the, the link below in the video description, you'll notice a link for $1.95. So if you use that link, come over here. You can start searching for free. You only have to pay You know, if you actually want to get your report back from them. They'll, they'll let you know if, if they have a valid report for you or not. And um, at that point, it's $1.95 to get your record, but then you also get access to all of their other records as well. So all this stuff that you see on the left side, you can do unlimited searches for three days, and again, it costs you $1.95. You can search whoever you want, your friends, your neighbors, your babysitter, your family, whoever you feel like snooping on. And what they're banking on is that you're going to like their service so much that you will stick around and subscribe to their monthly service, which is like 25 or 30 bucks a month. But if you only want to get your driving record, as long as you cancel the service within three days, it's only $1.95 to get your driving record back. Now, if you do need an official copy, the state of Maine doesn't charge that much. I think it's only like five bucks. Uh, oh, actually, it's right over here. So $7 for a three-year record and $10, 10 or excuse me, for a 10-year record, it is $12. So um, if you just feel more comfortable going through the main Bureau of Motor Vehicles website, then you can just go through this site here, which I've also linked to, and uh, it's super simple, so you just need a credit card to get started. And uh, make sure you print out your record, because every time you get your record, you got to pay for it. So print it out, and then you can just kind of have it off the computer as well. Um, I've also linked to this page here. This is just the uh, location and hours for different driver services uh, facilities. That way, if you want to do it in person, which is uh, another way that you can get your driving record, just visit a driver services facility, and you are good to go. So that's it, you guys. I hope this helped, and uh, if you need some more information, come over to drivingtips.com. You can contact us there. Otherwise, I will catch you all next time.